Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to create custom render elements. In Drupal, we have a lot of uh, render elements and form elements. Uh, and we can see that list by going to the api.drupal.org and then you can navigate to the element section of API navigation from the left menu and here you would see the list of all the render and form elements provided by the Drupal code. We have select, we have number, we have link, label, everything. But I must tell you a lot of cool HTML tags are missing from this list. So we can create render elements for those cool HTML tags. For example, I have one such example here to tell you what we are going to do. So I have a uh, uh, HTML tag uh, meter which is used to showcase uh, the gauge value or something in a uh, metered value here uh, I'm I'm rendering it through in a Drupal way through a render element so ha if I want to render it in a controller build uh, block I can render it by simply providing it uh, the type the attributes value and the required variable values if i want to change it to something like let's change it to 85 the value is 85 and it is it has changed see i do not have to do anything so i'm utilizing the cool html tag here let's create a render element for one more such cool uh, 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 html tag and that is going to be the progress tag uh, what it does it basically represents the completion prog uh, completion progress of a task how it is going how it looks it looks something like this so if i change it to 82 percent it is going to look something like this this is a bit different from meter uh, because what because so if you uh, if i want to represent a gauge then i must use meter otherwise i must use progress here let's create it we have talked a lot <laughs> So I am going to close it and I'll create for that and let me tell you the structure of the directory. I have a module, uh, let's close it, yeah. I have a module called chdre which represents uh, cool HTML tag render elements. Uh, here you must create an element folder inside your source folder and inside that you are going to write your class. So here I'm going, going to create a new file named uh, progress.php and I'm going to copy the code or I have actually the code basic skeleton of class and in this here I'm specifying basically the namespace which is going to be Drupal the name of a module an element and since this and the render element must extend renders so render element so we are using that class over here uh, in the description of your render element you must provide the basic information about what it does and for example our progress tag represents represents as i've told you the completion progress of a task so i have provided that along with some uh, note and also like uh, where we uh, uh, controller link that uh, which can be used to see how it looks on the front end and uh, it is very simple actually like it is a plugin implementation of um, so it is it is a, a plugin type uh, like any other plugin type uh, we specify uh, the uh, render element uh, with add the rate uh, tag and inside that we specify the id of the uh, render element and this is the same id which we are going to use for the type property sorry type property of our render element so if you would have seen any form okay let me open any form uh, familiar form element x uh yeah let's open this or uh, okay so for creating a text field you specify the the type property 
so uh, and there you write text field and here i'm writing meter so this is the same uh, id you must specify here for your render element so this is progress for us and the class name is progress and extending render element so that is it this is pretty simple uh, and it has only one uh, uh, method called get info so inside this we are going to actually provide the basic information about our render element so i'm going to copy the one from the uh, the meter tag okay sorry let's see what we all need okay so we need a so we need a we'll discuss about this later we'll discuss about this later okay so for a basic progress bar we need id we need max value we need value and that is it so for that what we are going to do we are going to need id removing the minimum value low high we don't want okay that is it and then value content content we have got value max id id max value content we have got and that is it okay cool so i'll remove this yeah so this this pretty simple thing we are going to have for our render element and this is all the variables we are going to need to render that element and this is i am telling uh, about the Twig template I'm going to use for my render element. So I'm going to use the Twig template progress, and that is it. But since we have specified the th Twig theming theme template, and then we must specify it in the <laughs> hook theme. So we are going to specify it over here. Okay, that is it. uh we need id max value and content content we need and attributes this is going to be dynamic uh then we must create a uh, inside this template folders like the name of our uh, template is going to be chtr hyphen sorry hyphen progress so i'm going to create a new file and here i'm going to save it as chtre progress dot html dot twig and that is it here i am going to copy the same thing here and replace i'll remove this for now and i'm rendering how we render the progress bar uh, sorry progress progress we have to render the attributes here and then the content uh, we are rendering the progress uh, render element attributes and content for progress tag progress tag we'll clear the cache okay we have not seen any error so i think so. things are working let's implement this so i am going to implement this by the inside the same controller let's progress example so the name is and here i am going to have define it like a normal render element Type is going to be the ID of our render element progress, and here we need to specify what what is required attributes, and attributes are ID max and value. No, first the content, content sixty percent, and then 
attributes sorry uh, we need id id is going to be id abc id progress and max sorry max value is going to be 100 or let's change it 1000 and value is going to be 60 let's refresh it and you see our rendered element is coming out right so it is 60 of 1000 is this and we are <laughs> 60% is not that 60% is going to be 600 we are changing 600 it to change 600 and you would see that it has now it is 600 I have used ID attribute here why I have used ID attribute let me tell you uh, so for the the reason for using id attribute is this the, for using the la, label attribute okay so you see that now i'm using label along with my progress bar that is that is recommend uh, so this is how we create render elements with one simple class one more thing before closing this uh, video is that if you want to specify other attributes uh, render for example uh, pre-render hook post render hook uh, element validate or lazy builder you can do that like any other uh, render element you have to specify it over here and there you can implement that in the in from this class uh, so yeah so again that is how we create custom render elements in drupal